Holy frick, he's gonna murder me. Let me just get an ice slime. There we go. I am completely protected. And, and thank you, blue slime. Hey, this is Chris. Hopefully everyone is having an awesome day. And welcome back to another mod showcase. So today we're showcasing the Dandy's expansion mod for 1.16.5 and it's a mod that adds a bunch of awesomely animated mobs and a bunch of cool items anyway let's just get straight into this video by the way if you guys are curious i have protection 3 armor a sharpness 5 sword and a power 5 bow so let's start off with the first mob and that is the cursed skull so as you can see there are particles around this guy which makes him look freaking awesome and he also vomits projectiles at you and these projectiles are pretty poisonous so as you can see my health is starting to go down but once my hunger bar goes down i'm basically gonna start dying just because of this tiny head right here and anyway he just spawns everywhere in the overworld except for mushroom biomes anyway we're just gonna try to murder this guy and it is pretty hard since he does move around a lot so I'll go, dude dude just die and as you can see the poison is incredible like i'm literally almost dead that is how powerful that guy is and now let's move on to the next mob next up is the great rammer so this guy is our neutral mob and he won't hurt you unless you hurt him but as you can see this guy just looks amazing he is a freaking bulldozer and i am not even joking so i'm gonna provoke this one and i'm gonna show you how to make it your pet in the next section so we're just gonna punch this guy and he should ram me so there we go so it doesn't ram me that far because i have some armor on but the second i take this off he should start ramming me even more and by the way this guy spawns in forces only anyway enough of him let's actually murder this guy so i'm just gonna murder him and whoa actually he packs a real punch once you don't have armor so i'm just gonna wear my armor just in case he hurts me even more and there we go and by the way upon death he should drop some rammer meat but in this case it's slightly broken and yeah this mod is so new that it doesn't even matter by the way before we begin i just want to let you guys know that this mod is currently in beta so there's a bunch of things that may be broken or missing from the mod and they should be added later on in the future but for now we're just gonna have to do what whatever is broken in this mod so now let's make this guy our pet so first thing you want to do is give it a golden apple so you'll hear that munch right there and he should be ready to get saddled so this guy is kind of finicky but you can just push the saddle right there by right clicking and let's just get on also what the frick is that grammar anyway i'm just on him and as you can see this guy is freaking powerful just look at me i'm on a freaking tank just look at that health bar that's amazing but Jonathan just uh, you don't have any knockback resistance do you? you you just take off your armor Jonathan okay also why are you acting so mute though it sounds like you don't know how to speak also I'm sorry so let's just charge up our move by clicking spacebar and the move should be charged up there and let's just hit Jonathan so as you can see it just tosses your enemies backwards this guy is freaking overpowered also Jonathan try to hit him and see if he will attack you so as you can see he does not actually attack so uh, yeah he is really passive towards any players and that is it for this guy who looks amazing so Jonathan murder him next up we have the ghoul so this guy looks pretty funny just look at that mouth apparently he lost his teeth and yeah he will do that he will literally just spit venom at you okay this guy is really ravenous and look at that animation though he and he can him. also just smack you like the grandpa from granny in the granny game i don't remember the grand i think it was called granny but anyway let's just murder this guy before he murders us uh, yeah just just die dude and this guy drops some visceral essence and he spawns everywhere in the overworld except for mushroom biomes so yeah it's exactly like the cursed skull i think that might be where the cursed skull came from but anyway let's just move on to the next mob next up we have the dicey toy 
So yeah, this guy isn't really as nice as he sounds, but currently he is unstable and he doesn't actually work. So this guy would usually just throw a bite at you, but um, apparently in this state he's just um doing absolutely nothing. So this guy looks awesome, but let's just murder him because he's freaking useless right now. Also, yeah, that guy doesn't drop anything, but he spawns everywhere in the overworld except for mushroom biomes. Also, if I didn't tell you guys for some of these mobs, some of these mobs like to curse skull and the mob I already fought have a spawn rate of zero. So that means they won't spawn in, but I'll show you how to fix that in the config later on in this video next up we have one of my favorite mobs and that is the possessed armor so this reminds me of luigi's mansion dark moon because uh yeah there was a possessed armor but i was possessed by a ghost and if oh oh yeah i kind of forgot about that move so this guy can basically ram you and you can also get his armor later on but this guy will spawn in the overworld except for mushroom biomes so yeah there's a bunch of uh, mobs that don't spawn mushroom biomes and i'm just gonna kill this guy oh uh, yeah he does heal he does heal i kind of forgot about that but anyway let's just battle this guy and his death is amazing and this guy drops some strange alloy which you can craft into an armor exactly like him except you're not possessed but anyway let's just move on to the next mob next up we have a mob that spawns everywhere in the overworld except for mushroom biomes but there's a catch to this guy. He only spawns in when it's raining. So Jonathan is going to spawn it in. And it's basically a really alien-like creature that drops some slimes that are its minions. So these guys will land and... Wait, uh, and, uh, uh, what are dying. you doing? Yeah, I know they're dying. Okay, that one fell alive. Uh, man, that is really terrifying. But that is, uh, that's all it does. It's basically a mothership. Now, we're just going to murder it and... Whoa, okay, let's just do some damage. I thought it wasn't doing any damage. And there we go. So it has dropped its spores. And this is a material you can use later on. And why did I just mention they're going to show every material later on? But as you can see, that guy is pretty awesome. All right, so these slimes are called the spore slimes. And that's because I forgot. And whoa, did you just see the death animation? Anyway, we're just going to go on to the next mob. Next up, we have the Monday slime. No, I mean the Monday slime. <laughs> so yeah, the Monday slime would be the worst thing to ever exist. But this guy spawns in plains biomes and in forest biomes. And let's just murder this guy because he's freaking useless. Except he actually drops him, Joe. So he is not useless. I do not know why I'm saying useless to every mob that is not freaking useless. Next up, we have the rammer, which is basically the baby. So let's just spawn in this baby. And this guy will only spawn in forests and plains biomes. Anyway, just look at him. He looks so adorable. Oh. All right, yeah, that's what happens when you have a pet. When you have a dog or something, everything is cute. Anyway, we're just gonna feed it. So this guy only eats golden apples. So let's just feed him a golden apple. And as you can see, he just eats it like, aw, that is adorable. And now he's gonna start having a spasm because what? he's trying to grow up. And there we go. He he <laughs> yeah. I know, that is the strangest thing ever. But now that he's grown up, you can just feed him another golden apple. And there we go. He ate the golden apple. And now you can make him your pet like any other mob. I mean, like his, uh, like the previous version. Anyway, we're just going to murder this dude and drop and spawn in another baby because I want to kill it. Also, that sounds dark. All right. So, that, yeah, this guy will drop the rammer beat. And, oh, yeah, he can push you too. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So, the rammer beat is dropped by this guy. Yeah, uh, because this guy is currently working properly. And Jonathan, just stop freaking ramming me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. Next up, we have the frozen ghoul. So this guy will spawn in cold biomes. So that means snowy tundras, ice spikes, and I don't even know any other snowy biomes. Yeah, snowy taiga. That is all I know for snowy biomes. But anyway, let's, this guy just freaking smacks you like the, the other one. Yeah. So this guy has really wacky moves. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, I don't even care. Just, just, just stop. Stop smacking me, dude. And he just drops his ice shards. Yep, you may speak, mortal. At least he uses his arms. The other one just smacked you with its face. I know. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just move on to the next mob. 
which is a, bit, a little bit boring. Next up is the frozen slime. So this guy will spawn in cold biomes too. And I'm just gonna smack him to death because I, he's really... Oh, dude, just stop. Wait, where did he go? Um, I, I'm kind of confused. Stop animation. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna kill him again. By the way, those guys occasionally drop some gel. Next up, we have the ice elemental. So this guy will only spawn in spike frozen biomes. I, I don't even remember the name. Okay, so they're called the ice spikes. Anyway, this guy is just gonna float around and try to smack me with its ice move. Well, let's just uh, kill it right here. All right, dude, just come back here. So we're just gonna freaking shatter this guy, dude. Where are you going? That yes, yeah, these guys are really difficult to kill. And they also dropped some ice shards. And also, I did not realize they gave me slowness last time I fought them. Next up, we have one of my favorite other mobs, and that is the mummy. So as you can see, that guy actually has some things on his head. And he will just smack you with a piece of, uh, uh, apparently looks like mud. Uh, hopefully it is mud. And he will also summon the Arib Abomination. You know what? I don't even know how to speak anymore. Anyway, this guy is just uh, really, uh, yeah, he's really cool, actually. Actually, and he will also just uh, spike you to death. But I think in this case, we now have to try and murder them before they actually murder us. And whoa, those th actually that is it's amazing. A cockroach. Oh yeah, it does look like a cockroach. Ah, nope, nope, nope. I hate you. I hate you. It's called the sand scar scarab. You know what? I, 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 to be honest, I never actually fought the mummy that this much uh, off camera, so I freaking have no idea what these moves actually are doing. So we're just gonna get rid of them before he actually. Also, yeah, he does summon a bodyguard or something, and there we go. So he is currently dead, and why did he not drop anything? Oh, okay, all right. Oh, uh, yeah, my mistake. My mistake. He does drop stuff. Um, he dropped some nether quartz. Some arid wrapping, which will be really useful later on. Actually, it's not useful currently. Also, by the way, this is called the Iorid Stone. And there's another stone that I'm also going to cover later on because I currently don't have it or just just murder something. Also, the mummy dropped something called the Sand Necklace. Next up, we have a really cool mob, which is the Black Scorpion. So this guy is, uh, yeah, he looks insane. And this guy will give you some venom, which is pretty obvious. And he will also grab you and drag you around. So I'm just going to run away from this guy. But just look at how amazing this guy looks. Anyway, we're just going to murder this guy before he murders us. So, uh, dude, just die. Just die. And he usually drops... A scorpion gland, but that is pretty rare. So Jotting is going to kill a few of them, just so you guys can see. So here we go. So we have a scorpion gland, and we have a second one. Jotting, why do you have to murder two, two of them? And one of them already dropped it. Also, imagine poking yourself with this by accident. <laughs> yeah, you just oh, automatically oh. poison yourself by accidentally stabbing yourself with its tail. But anyway, we're just going to move on to the next mob. Next up is another one of my favorite mobs, and that is the jungle golem. So this guy will only spawn in jungles and just look at him. So this guy will start running towards you and there we go. J just come here and smack me. Now I'm just going to try to get a little bit further away from him. And it looks like that is not possible currently because he's currently uh, going after me. What? And that is one of his drones. So you can only get rid of that while using a bow. So yeah, that is really difficult to accomplish. But let's just get him to drop another drone. Uh, dude, can you just be far enough? Uh, there we go. So we're just gonna shoot this one and there uh, okay uh, this time it does not pop okay so apparently this guy has changed so that is pretty scary all right so i think it has changed a little bit since last time but you can just smack it back at him and also yeah it's not gonna explode oh uh -uh. uh, okay you know what this is pretty difficult so yeah it is gonna be pretty difficult all right so there we go so that is what i was trying to accomplish so it just freaking got a little bit harder, but he, it still works. So you usually want to point a bow at a specific area on this. So we're just going to try to... So it is at the bottom. So that is really difficult to accomplish, but I guess the, a lot of people can do it. So there we go. Let's just murder this dude. And here we go. So we got his golem scraps. So that means we freaking cut him apart. Also, yeah, that also, yeah, that sounded a little bit violent. I'm sorry. Next up is the jungle slime. So as you can see, I think it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. But anyway, uh, this guy will drop occasional um, gel. Also, why 
Why the frick am I having so much trouble speaking? All right, uh, 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 I did not know kidney stones could turn into brain stones. And also... <laughs> oh. Next up, we have a mob that is super rare. So this means that I even had to go to the world just to actually find these guys. But these guys are called the Cleave Fours. And they're adorable, like freaking adorable. And they also spawn on this called Plant Matter. So that is so you won't actually break her bottom block. But anyway, we're just going to put on some armor. We're going to have some steak. And here we go. So these will usually be found in groups like this. So... Let's just go into game mode and let's go into survival. So these guys are currently spitting at me. And by the way, see, there's nothing you can do about these blocks. So there is no breaking them. They're basically unbreakable. But anyway, we're just going to murder these dudes because they're going to get pretty annoying. So there we go. Oh, so it eventually does break. All right. So it only breaks when they break. So once they're dead, they're dead. They, they, they just fall through the ground. So this block isn't really going to stay there forever. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be there until these guys actually spawn in. Also, they appear to spawn upside down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? All right, then. Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? This this is a keeper. This is a keeper. We're just gonna look at him. Oh, hello. Um, I did not know you could spawn upside down. But anyway, we're just gonna spawn in another one of these guys. Because I want to show you something. So there we go. So that is what I was trying to get. So this is called the Clay 4 Tails Man. So you can just click on this button right here. And uh, okay, you know what? I'm just going to show this later on because I'm going to freaking die. I'm going to freaking die if I don't freaking leave right now. Next up is a mob that only spawns in the nether except for warped forces. And that guy is called the Magma Gulper. So this guy is basically just a pot filled with lava that eats itself while using its wings. So yeah, this guy it looks pretty derpy, but um, yeah, it doesn't really do much if you have some armor on. So wait, let me see. So if I take this armor off, what happens? Can you set me on fire? Can you set me on fire? All right, this dude uh, cannot set you on fire. But he's, uh, he, he looks awesome regardless. Anyway, we're just gonna murder him. Dude, just come back here. Gonna murder you. I'm gonna... Oh, this is so difficult, though. Come back here. I got you. I got you. All right, so there we go. So he is freaking dead. Also, if you were wondering, they drop absolutely nothing. Next up, we have the Magma Slime. So this guy will spawn everywhere. The other guy will. So it spawns in the nether. But it won't spawn in other places like the Warped Forces. But anyway, we're just gonna murder this dude. And he looked different last time I fought him. Okay, apparently the file just uploaded. Uh, yeah, it updated today, so I, I downloaded it. And no wonder it's different, but this guy just looks amazing now. So we're just gonna Magma Slime. Oh, yeah, so this should... Yeah, it looks like uh, the actual Magma Slime, like the one you use to craft potions. But anyway, we're just gonna... Uh, d this dude is so fast, though. Dude, just calm down. Jeez, there we go. And he dropped some drill. So, yeah, that is pretty weird considering it's another mob that, uh, yeah, basically made out of magma. So, it, it, that is kind of strange. Now, on to the last two mobs, which are the end mobs. So, yeah. this first guy is called the Ender Beast Archer. So, as you can see, this guy just look at the animation, though. Well, I, I, why did I not fought, if I tried to fight these guys off camera and try to see what their movesets? So yeah, if you were curious, a little bit behind the scenes. So I gave myself insane resistance using a, a, a command. And yeah, there's a there's a bunch of commands you can use that make amazing things. But anyway, this command uh, makes it so I'm basically invincible. And yeah, the, the, I just have every mob smack me repeatedly and see their movesets. But I didn't see the movesets for this guy until now. And that is amazing. Oh yeah, he can also smack you. No, uh, yeah, I kind of like doing it slightly blank. I know. <laughs> oh, I just don't. <laughs> okay, I can't take this seriously anymore. I can't take this seriously anymore. I don't, dude. Um, okay, all right, he's dead. And also, he drops absolutely nothing because, uh, yeah, currently there's nothing programmed for it. Now we're just gonna use the Lancer. All right, here we have the Lancer, which is basically the guy that smacks you with its wand. If only it was a little bit sharper, but anyway, we're just gonna smack this guy. So let's see if this head actually freaks out like the other one. All right, um, yeah, I know, I know. I, I can't repeatedly smack it, 
So this is mm -hmm. what do you have to do. So yeah, there we go. And drops absolutely nothing. And that is uh, that is it for these mobs. Except I'm gonna show you a hidden mob. So I'm just gonna summon Danny's expansion. And we're just gonna do this. So this is currently something that hasn't been added yet. But uh, yeah, it's snail. Yeah, it's a snail. It's invincible. There's nothing you can do to destroy it. Um, not even, I think, not even the kill command can destroy it. Why did I spawn this guy in? Um, Wait, Jonathan, can you give me that sword? You're probably not smacking it hard enough. Give it. Okay, okay. Give it. Let's see how much damage it does, too. Um, it can, you just toss it over. All right, so I did it. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, that is a lot of death damage and, like, no death. All right, that... Basically, this guy's permanently stuck in your world if you summon him. All right, did the kill command work? No, nope, he's still alive. What? what? Wait, what? Oh, you got me freaking kidding me. Also, Horsekin kind of gave me a great idea. So I think that I could just drop this guy into the void and he should die. So let's just push him in, into the void. Just go into the freaking void. All right, there we go. So he is finally freaking gone. Now let's go over the items. So first off we have the rammer meat. So this rammer meat can just be cooked like any other normal meat. Except it only works in furnaces which I did not realize. Alright now I have to do so. Jonathan just put the coal in there. And let's drop the rammer meat in there. And here we go. So we're just gonna start cooking this rammer meat. And yeah it is so powerful. That you literally can't. Uh, yeah you can't cook it in a normal smoker. So we're just gonna grab this and let's eat it once uh, Jonathan smack me once but not with your sword okay we're really hungry right now so let's see how much it fills it up so yeah it, it, it does fill it up a lot and we're just gonna go on to the next items all right so I was kind of dumb and didn't realize that these recipes were actually transferred to the workbench so that means we're gonna start with the workbench first so this workbench is crafted with one book and six planks of any type. And this gives you this table right here, which you can just place absolutely anywhere. And it takes up two blocks. But you, what you want to do is just right click on this and you get an entire menu of things you can actually craft. So the first thing we're going to do is craft the antique armor. So here it will tell you everything you need to craft the armor. So for example, I just need that strange alloy. So we're just going to grab some strange alloy and here it'll start glowing because we actually have the materials. So we're just going to use this right here and also let me see. Okay, so this recipe requires some gold, but let's just do this. So here we have the antique chest plate right now and we're just going to try to craft the multi one too. So we're just going to grab some gold right now and put it in our inventories and now we can actually craft this. So here we go. So we can just craft anything we want on this table right here. Now that means that we can move on to the antique armor. So yeah, you just crafted it, but apparently it's antique. Oh uh, yeah, you... Well, it was probably the possessed armor, but anyway, we're just gonna wear this. So it, it doesn't want it. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. I kind of realized I had some armor on. But anyway, let's just wear this. And here we go. So I have become overpowered. And Jonathan, can you take that off so I can ram you? So the way this armor works is you just triple click any button that you would like to start ramming with. So for example, I'm just going to click W three times. So one, two, three, and there we go. So it just makes you ram stuff. And it actually does do some damage. So yeah, you can just ram things into things. And you can also just ram into things uh, and hit them with a sword. So I'm just going to try to be a little bit further away. So here we go, so there we go. We just got a good hit off Jonathan, and now we're just gonna... Jonathan, do you have some resistance on or something? <laughs> Why do you have infinite resistance? No wonder I couldn't harm you. Take off that resistance and fight each other to the death. Um, horse again, what the frick is wrong with you? Um, I'm not even sure what is wrong with me anymore. Um, yeah, horse again, I think you might have to see a psychologist. Oh... Frick you, I don't want to see a psychologist. I am the smartest horse on this planet. Um, horse again, you, you, got, you got to be kidding me. We're going to send you to a freaking psychologist. Oh, um, all right. Good, good point. All right, so we're just going to continue and ignore horse again. But let's just ram Jonathan. So this time it should work. So okay, did triple click and there we go. So we did some damage to him. So only one damage. Now let's see what happens once you ram uh, someone at a, a really high speed. So we're just gonna um, do it like right around here. So there we go. 
So it got two damage, although yeah, it, 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 it should apply more damage. But all right, apparently you can just dodge stuff, and you can do it with any button. So you can just run backwards like a maniac, run sideways like a maniac, and yeah, run any direction like a maniac. And let me just take this off before uh, I become wait, wait, power hungry. Next up is the spore bomb. So as you can see, the animation on this is really amazing. It just looks amazing. Just look at the things dropping off its sides. But anyway, let's just cover the crafting recipe. So to craft this, you need five glass, five gunpowder, two varicero essence, and two spores. And you got yourself one of these spore bombs. Now I'm just going to drop one of these bombs on Jonathan. And also, I, I should have covered the, the... There we go. So there we go. I crafted a bunch of them. Actually, only one. And I'm just going to throw this at Jonathan. So it will create a spore cloud. They'll start harming him. So yeah, it basically just covers you in spores. Like one of the other mobs. I don't even remember which mob. Also, this has a slow down gravity. So yeah, I'll fall breaking the laws of physics. That's how, that's how freaking awesome it is. Next up, we have the scorpion sword. And it is as awesome as it sounds. So this is an upgraded version of a netherite sword. So yes, you can now upgrade your netherite sword even further. So this does 8.5 attack damage. And the netherite sword does 8 attack damage. So it is slightly better. But still, it, it, it's awesome that you can actually upgrade it. And also it does have a little bit less attack speed. So the usual attack speed is 1.6. Which is pretty quick. But this guy, uh, this guy, I mean this sword, has an uh, attack speed of 1.5. Anyway, we're just going to try to smack Jonathan with the uh, craft it. There we go. So I have crafted it. And let's smack Jonathan with it. And there we go. That does a lot of damage. And you're almost dead. And there we go. <laughs> Did I have to actually kill you that far? You, you got to be kidding me. Why, why do I keep going this far? So here we have the frozen bow alongside its ice arrows, which is its ammo. Anyway, we're just going to go to the workbench and craft some. So the way you craft this is with 128 blue ice. So yes, this is a lot. And is 16 ice shards. So we're just going to grab this and we, we have crafted it. So here we go. We have this bow and this bow is pretty special because I'm going to show you right now after you're going to survival. So what's special about this bow is it can rapid fire. So if you have some arrows in your inventory, you can just hold down right click and it just repeatedly shoots without stopping. And it is pretty powerful. So yeah, it, it, three shot chopped in. All right, I'm just going to try it with a normal bow later on, but it gets even more overpowered once you use the ice arrows which i have stored over here and jonathan came through the door so let's just see how many hits you can die wait all right so i have to uh, get all these arrows out so i can have a fresh stack of whatever i want to shoot so jonathan excuse me there we go so i'm gonna start shooting him and Jeez. he's freaking died so there we go so this is how the arrow usually looks like and also jonathan took it down the arrows also i don't think you actually need to get rid of the arrows in your inventory so for example yeah, uh, actually, you might have to get rid of the arrows in your inventory because for some reason it doesn't work. What effects do you have on you? Uh, none. Okay, no effects. So just an arrow to heart. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just an arrow to a heart. And I don't know what's the difference between making the arrows, but all right. Um, I think that it should probably be compatible with only the ice arrows. But uh, who cares? Who cares? Now, these are experimental weapons. But the first experimental weapon we have is the test pistol. By the way, you can't actually craft any of these because they're they're just freaking experimental, like the description says. And also, I, I I may have gotten the wrong bullet. So here we have the correct ammo for it, and you can actually craft this ammo. But I'm not gonna craft it right here because it's gonna take a long time. So let's go over the three types of bullets that we're gonna cover. So the short bullet is crafted with five gunpowder and five iron. The aquatic short bullet is crafted with 12 bullets and 15 prismarine shards. And next we have the impulsor which is used to craft the high velocity short bullet and it also requires some short bullets. Also by the way I almost forgot so the impulsor is also crafted in the workbench and it is crafted with 3 iron ingots, 3 golden ingots, 4 gunpowder and 4 redstone dust. So this gives you 24, this gives you 12. And this gives you 12 too. So anyway, we're just going to test it with the first one we've got. So here we have the short bullets. Jotting prepared to get gunshot. So there we go. So I'm just going to repeatedly smack you, Jotting. And uh, okay, it doesn't really do that much damage once you're using the normal bullets. So Jotting, grab those bullets. 
So I'm gonna grab the high velocity ones. Also, what is wrong with my voice? All right, so I'm just gonna smack Jonathan straight in the face between the nose. So you just want to left click for this to actually work and I'm just gonna wait for Jonathan to regenerate. All right, so we're just gonna smack Jonathan repeatedly and uh, all right, I know, I, apparently you miss sometimes. So you have to shoot slowly just so that it just, okay, okay, you know what? It, 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 holy jeez, that was a lot of bullets. Wait, okay, uh, um, Jonathan screen. I am freaking t posing. Jonathan, take a screenshot so I can show it off. Jonathan, look at your moves. It looks like you got some freaking sort of moves. Also, Jonathan, come underwater with me. I want to murder you with my underwater weapon. So, here we go. We're just gonna shoot Jonathan with this. And as you can see, it does a lot of damage. So, we're just gonna keep doing a lot of damage underwater. And here we go. So, he is dead. And I am completely satisfied in killing my brother. Since we're moving on to the larger weapons, here we have the large bullets. So you can get 12 large bullets by crafting it with 8 iron ingots and 8 gunpowder. You can craft the high velocity one with 1 impulser and 16 large bullets. And that gives you 69 velocity large bullets. And here we have the aquatic ones, which is 20 prismarine shards and 12 normal large bullets. By the way, this is the test heavy pistol. So first we're going to try with these bullets right here. So here we go. So, um, Jonathan, are you in creative? all right no. so all right so you can actually shield it i didn't know that uh well, wait, all right can uh, you i wasn't shielding oh wait see. i'm not gonna see yeah. oh yeah you can shield here we have the high velocity one so almost insta kill um wait not almost insta kill but it does a little bit more damage and here we have the aquatic large bullet uh, and i'm not gonna go over i just realized i was having a lot of trouble for absolutely no reason so like, these actually work in creative mode so here we go. We're just gonna shoot something underwater, and um, it, it just completely miss every single shot that I take. Next up, we have the shotgun. So that means that we have different kinds of bullets too. So first, we have the shotgun shells, which are crafted with tw twelve gunpowder and six iron ingots. Next up, we have the high velocity one, which is crafted with one impulsor and sixteen shotgun shells, and we have the aquatic ones, which are crafted with twelve shotgun shells and 20 prismarine shards so let's just move on to this weapon so here we have the shotgun with its normal bullets so we're just gonna shoot this and as you can see it harms everything in its way so it harmed the cow wait Jonathan did it harm the cow yeah it did, yeah, yeah it did harm the cow now we're just gonna move on to the high velocity one so Jonathan spawn like two more cows next to you Jot did the kill uh, the cow man. <laughs> I was gonna say the kill man, but there we go. So uh, does it shoot multiple targets? Uh, I think it kind of does, but at the same time, it, it it really doesn't. All right, so let's see if this actually works. Oh yeah, it does work for multiple targets. That is actually amazing. And you can also probably do this underwater, obviously. So we're just gonna spot a bunch of drowns and still torturing Jonathan this time. All right, so I'm just gonna spawn in multiple targets. Jonathan, mess with them. Come over there. Uh, come next to them and mess with them. All right, so we're just gonna keep shooting underwater. And let's see what happens when you don't actually use a... I was a... impaled by a drown. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you can get impaled. So here we go. So these are normal bullets. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing is done on them. So here we have the test dummy. So let's just cover its recipe. So the recipe should be somewhere around here. So here we go. So the recipe for this guy is eight sticks and four hay bales. So it, it just gives you this test dummy. Also, um, I, I, I have to do this. I have to remind myself to do this later. I didn't do it because uh, uh, look, uh, look what happens. Look what happens. Um, oh wait. It, cra was, it crashes I, my tired game. I know. It really crashes it. Okay, you went, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that on camera. Yay, we have Jonathan back. So by the way, this test dummy is invincible. So I'm just going to hit him twice. And as you can see, it counts how many da uh, how much damage per second someone is doing. So Jonathan, do your damage. <laughs> yeah, so the, the number eight is really not there. So Jonathan, just keep repeatedly smacking. So yeah, a few, a few, a few million damage per second. But all right, as you can see, he's invincible. So Jonathan, can you stop? All right, so the way you pick this guy up is you just shift 
and then just right click and there we go and yeah you can just freaking move them wherever you want and you have a freedom to do whatever you want also that was i just said want a lot all right um all right so i'm gonna end it on my side so see you all later just kidding just kidding i'm i'm just gonna continue this tomorrow uh, probably weird cut now let's move on to the blue slime so the first thing you want to do is craft yourself some life essence so this requires a totem of undying. Now we have some life essence and we can craft this blue slime. So the blue slime can be crafted with one saddle, 72 gels, and two life essence. So we're just gonna craft this guy and here we go. So we have this jelly boy. Now to spawn in the blue slime, all you want to do is right click on the ground and he should grow up into a big slime with a saddle on it. Now you just want to right click on this guy and you can just move around like on a normal horse. So you can just use W, A, S, and D, but it doesn't really work out since this guy is really slow. And that is where one of his moves come in. So he can actually jump like a maniac. And also what the frick just happened with my accent right there. Anyway, we're just gonna click spacebar and charge it up all the way. And as you can see, this guy can just jump like a mad lad. So we're just gonna go up here and let's charge this up again so we can go up on this tree a little bit quicker. And as you can see, this is actually a great way to transport yourself across your world. One more thing you should know is this guy won't cause any damage once you land. So let's try to land somewhere where it might hurt and here we go so absolutely nothing happened to me and this guy has a lot of hearts too also it, it oh okay it, it is a good time to actually show off one of its moves so you can just click j or i mean click g and it sucks you in there so you can't take any damage but your slime will start taking damage so though actually it does not take any damage once it's in this form so you can use this form to just get away yeah, just in case something is about to murder you. So it, it's a little bit too late now. I'm just gonna... All right, you know what? I, I think I should have gone further before. Ow! Oh, okay, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Now, there's one more thing you should know about the blue slime. So, if you charge up the move slightly, you only jump slightly. So, the jump depends on how much you charge to move. So, first, we're gonna cover the Iron Stone. So, what the Iron Stone does is give you 5% chance of doing a special attack. So, the way you put this on is just by clicking that button that you saw right there and then you just put it in the accessory so we're just gonna drag this over here and we have the iron stone on so let's actually fight a zombie and let's see what it does so uh, yeah it has a five percent chance so it really takes a while and i think that it is the attack that the um the mummy did i'm not I, I don't even remember anymore but let's try to attack multiple of these guys and see what happens there we go that is what i was trying to show you guys now we could go on to the next item wait does it make <laughs> i just noticed that it's basically making you spit out a block of mud now we have the ebb well so this is a little bit more difficult to find so that means that i have to quit out into another world now here we have the angler's treasure so this is a new structure that spawns underwater so this will basically just contain a chest that is completely rusted and this is where you find the ebb well and the ebb well is pretty helpful and i'm just gonna use it right now because it does something really amazing so let's just put this on quickly and what this does is uh, provide an impulse so that means once you click spacebar while swimming it'll just uh, boost you there we go so you have to be swimming as fast as possible and i have used up all of them so that means that uh, i'm gonna probably drown now you may be wondering yes it does recharge so once it recharges, you can just use it again. And I'm just going to use this to go to the surface. By the way, there's a few other structures that are eventually going to spawn in this mod. But currently, they're in the works. So we're going to get the abandoned armory, the cave treasure, and the desert dungeon. So yes, this mod is slowly going to become the most awesome thing you've ever seen. And I'm just going to cover the updates once they come out. But anyway, here we have the clear four talesman. So that means we need to spawn a clear four just so you guys can know what it does so i'm just gonna wear this just in case before we go into survival so we're just gonna do this and let's just spawn in a few of them so as you can see these guys are not gonna attack me once they have this on and uh, 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 what what one of them became double but as soon as i take this off they're all gonna attack me because apparently they hate me without this and uh i don't okay yeah never take that off in front of them or else they're gonna keep spitting at you no no stop, stop. 
stop! Now the last item is the sand necklace. So this basically just summons a bodyguard like the mummy. So let's just spawn in a zombie. And this is what the sand necklace does. It summons a bodyguard that just freaking smacks the freak out of anything in its way. So there we go. So as you can see, that guy is... He, he looks freaking awesome, but he doesn't do any damage. All he does is basically just deflect uh, the guy back. Now here we have an item that doesn't really do much, but it looks pretty cool. And that is the kite. So there are different kinds of kites. So there are the collectible kites and there are the normal kites. So I'm going to show you how to craft the normal kite. Then I'm going to show you how to obtain another collectible kite. So here we have the red kite. So to craft a red kite, you need four walls of any type and one stick. And you just replace the color of wool with whatever color you want of kite. Now what you do is just place this on a fence and it should start flying. So you can't actually fly this with your hand currently. But as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. Now I'm going to show you how to get the collectible kites. So the first thing you want to do is kill 50 of any type of mob you want to kite of. So for example, I want a zombie kite. So I'm just going to spawn in a few more just in case that I'm, uh, I'm miscalculating. And here we go. So we're just going to kill. And there we go. So we have gotten the zo uh, 100 zombies. And we have a new kite right there. And by the way, uh, it, yeah, I kind of filled this. So that's why it, it, it went to 100. Because it wasn't originally 100. It was 50. But I accidentally messed up by having my camera on. Now there's something else you should know about these kites. Some of these kites actually glow in the dark. So as you can see, some of them are literally just glowing. While some of them, uh, they, they look awesome. But uh, they, they really don't have any shine to them. But these are my favorites. Uh, basically other ones to glow. So that was it for today's video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this showcase on the Danny's Expansion mod. So I had a lot of fun recording this. Even though it's incomplete. This is a freaking awesome mod. And I can't wait to see what the future of this mod is. Because it's looking very very promising but anyway don't forget to burn that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you happen to be enjoying my content let's try to get to 10 likes on this showcase and hopefully you guys have an awesome day or night and see you all later bye, bye.